is Chris Kendall from TheRawAdvantage.com, registered holistic nutritionist. I'm out here with Miss Naturally Ashley. Hello. We're enjoying some watermelon, a delicious breakfast after an awesome workout at the Grand Mayan. Here's my phone. We're doing a video. Yeah, we're doing a video. They're, they're making, uh, or they're enjoying some two for one happy hour margaritas for breakfast. And uh, with a pool in the background. And I wanted to share a really fun recipe video with you, something that I've made from my TRA Retreat Treats ebook, and you know, I'm probably going to be making them again at the Mexico Retreat that I'm going to in just over two weeks. And anyhow, here we have beautiful portobello mushrooms in the sun right now. Ooh, now these are giant portobello mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms are some of the mushrooms that have lower incidences of toxicity. Uh, same with crimini, which are basically mini portobellos or otherwise shiitake mushrooms. All I did is I popped the bottoms off, just the stem end of the portobello mushroom. I squeezed lime all over the mushroom and I'm putting them in the sun for probably about four hours to soften a bit and you'll see the next steps from there. Alright, so we're back in the hotel room, pretty ridiculous hotel room, and like I said, down by the pool, we're making perfect portobello cat pizzas. They're from my recipe book, TRA Retreat Treats. You can also get it on my iPhone app. It's uh, like a $3 or $4 in-app purchase to get the whole book. Anyhow, let's get to this recipe. It's one of my favorites. Ridiculous, ridiculous. We got a whole bunch of freshly washed aroma tomatoes. We got some cherry tomatoes. It is a bit of a re-indition of the recipe. I'm using a couple different ingredients. We couldn't find basil. We don't have garlic, which is one of the optional ingredients. We're using some cherry tomatoes because they taste delicious, and that's part of the fun of being a chef. Being in the moment, tasting the food, making sure you're using stuff that tastes delicious. These are just so damn sweet. It's gonna make the sauce insane. We didn't have green onions. We just have this bulb of a green onion. So we're gonna use this, Ashley and I like onions. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're so bad. And I'm gonna reuse the bottoms of the portobello mushrooms. So there's the stem end, which you'll see why. Since we didn't have the basil, we're gonna use cilantro. We're in Mexico. A couple dates, sun dried tomatoes. So this is gonna be the sauce. I'll take this little guy here. And as we're not using a Vitamix, and you know, I really prefer to use a Vitamix, the Vitamix is the best blender in the universe, I think. We gotta cut the tomatoes up a lot, otherwise. We're gonna be moving the blender around, chopping it, moving it up and down, and shaking it while it's going. I like it saucy. You like it saucy? Yes, I do. I love it saucy. Love it saucy. All mm -hmm. right. So, hey, hey, Ashley, where can we find you? Oh, um, on Facebook you can, you can look at and on. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> where can we find you? <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, naturally Ashley. Um, www.naturallyashley.com. I'm all over the place. You are all over the place. You're out here in Mexico. I am. Cool. And it's beautiful. Super beautiful, hey? So this is super easy and quick. We're just making a sauce for six pizzas and probably hopefully have a little bit of extra sauce to put on a salad or just to dip tomatoes in or something like that. We got a bit of a hot pepper too, contraband hot pepper. We're just gonna put the tip in there because that's what Ashley likes. And <laughs> I like it a little bit hot. So I would put the whole thing in. She wants the tip. <laughs> Ladies, they get it. All right, so. <laughs> we will put this in the blender first. Now, get it started, make it whir down a bit. See, if this is the Vitamix, it would have already been blended. <laughs> it really would have been. I guess I should have chopped it up better. Now the, port the portobello mushrooms have been down by the pool for the last five and a half hours and this has lime on it, soaking it up, softening the mushrooms, deepening the flavor. We got another probably hour and a half, no, two, two and a half hours until dinner time, so make this sauce, put it on there, let it soak in even more and get a little bit more intense and then we're going to put some toppings on, so that'll be the next bit. So. So this is partially blended. What we're gonna do is add some of this cilantro. You don't mind if it gets a little bit nice up. See how it tastes. Mm. 
How spicy yeah. is it? Which is spicy. We'll put in some of the dates. And a bunch of this sun-dried tomatoes. Now, normally again with the Vitamix, we would have put the sun, we would have uh, been able to fully masticate the sun-dried tomatoes and make them into a smooth sauce. We could have really soaked them and let them sit, but instead what we're gonna do is just put these all in there. Save me two. Save two, okay. I'll save it. So we're gonna put these all in there and it'll blend, it'll be really chunky, but then when we pour it over top of the, the portobello mushrooms, it'll thicken up on there, which is fine. Since we have about two hours before serving, we're totally fine. All right, so. We got we see we got a bunch here saving. Thank you. Three? Three will be adequate, yes. Four. Oh, oh, three's fine. Okay. Oh, three. Huh? So, one last little thing we're gonna do. Sauce actually is pretty nice. Just gonna take a little bit of extra of onion, not a lot. Loosely chunk it, put it in there, as well as put a few of these suckers in there. Just give it a few quick pulses so it makes it kind of a chunky sauce, slightly chunky that will end up softening up as we put it in the sun. Like a chunky onion mushroom tomato sauce. This way too, we get to use these portobello mushroom bits. Okay. There we go. All right. And quick, quick zip. Let's look it nice and thick. Mm -hmm. Oh baby, I like it thick. <laughs> oh baby, you like it thick. All right. Let's double check, make sure there's no giant chunks of mushroom in there. No, nope, it's all bled into little teeny bits. Except for that one, so push that down. Um, pizza sauce. You know, normally I'd like to put a lot of oregano in there. We couldn't find oregano or basil in there, so this will be a very delicious pizza sauce, Mexicano style. So I hope you like it. Check it out as we pour it onto the portobellos downstairs. All right, so we're back on the beach. You got the, uh, the speedo chef, the speedo raw <laughs> chef. Oh, sorry, guys. What? But uh, beautiful sunset in the next couple of hours here. He's got the final final countdown. I want to apologize, it's too bad. I already put the sauce on there. I got the sauce, I got some uh, really thinly sliced onions and a really cool tip about onions. Green onions, regular onions, even garlic. They contain mustard oil and that's part of the reason why they kind of bring up mucus and cause uh, irritation on sensitive lines of your mouth and throat and stomach even. And if you slice them real thin, you put them out in the sun or if you just let them air out or if you fully dehydrate them, the mustard oil dissipates a whole lot and it makes them a lot milder on the system. If you dehydrate them fully, they're all, like 10 times milder on the system than fresh. So part of that is, you know, we're putting this on here and we're just going to let them air dry out. Um, we had a really cool little se sequence of a whole bunch of people crowding around and tasting the sauce and stuff, but I accidentally forgot to hit record. Uh, we're just putting all these little bits on here. and. Uh, we're gonna have our feast and we're just gonna sit and read for the next hour and a half or so and let these finish up by the beautiful golden sun. Ow! You can dress them how you like. We just want a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of onion slices. What you think, Ashley? 
They look delicious, except for I want more onion on mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll put more onion on yours. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, those little guys are chilling in the sun. All right, so we're here for dinner. Dinner's made it. What, what do we got here, Miss Ashley? We have papaya. Ooh, papaya. Which is in my favorite fruit here. So, well, besides the mame. Yeah. I eat papaya every day. Well, what do we got? What do we got next? And like a Greek kind of salad with zucchini, three different kinds of tomatoes, avocado and lime juice. Ooh. And then the perfect portobello cap pizzas. They look finish good. off. They look good. Look at those suckers. I want some extra sauce and extra hot sauce dipping. So let's just dive right in. You ready for it? I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check out the recipe book. Check out the app. And uh, give this a little bite. It's really down to that. Rawr! 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 Oh, there's one missing. What's, ha what's happening here? First bite. <laughs> oh, let's see. Is it yummy? You don't have to lie. You don't, you don't have to. <laughs> Pizza ripping. <laughs> Pizza ripping? Yes! <laughs> mm, success? Success. Oh, I'm gonna have to dive right in there too. Boy, this one looks like a per perfect portobello cap. Mm. I just had a bite with pineapple in it, and so mm -hmm. much better. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Every bite needs pineapple. Mm -hmm. More pineapple. Up the pineapple. That's it. Perfect portobello cap. Happy to down. Happy to enjoy. <laughs> perfect portobello. Mushroom pizza is food. Check out these two very popular videos and get three free ebooks by simply clicking below. Wow. Excited to announce my new iPhone app, free with 101 freaking Ross awesome recipes, interior retreat treats, food combining charts, shopping carts, and more.